Alright, here's what me and Gray are having on the overnight backpack trip that we're taking. That'll be pre-packaged, basically two tablespoons of that, three of that. We'll mix the apple wood smoked bacon with the ramen creamy chicken flavor. And we'll actually use the package uh, of the creamy chicken flavor as well. Uh, I like both of them together with, with the uh, mashed potatoes and cheese. Okay, and for breakfast, we'll be having a honey bun. Soon after we get out on the trail, about an hour after we're on the trail, we'll, we'll dive into the meat sticks. This is 100% uh, grass-fed beef. We really like those a lot. A little bit more expensive, but very, very tasty and definitely worth it. Okay, we've got the smokehouse cheddar, as well as peanut butter and honey. This is new for us. We've never really taken the crackers out on the trail, but I think it'll be good for snacking and as well. We're, We'll, uh, this will basically be the first day that we're out there on the trail in our packs and this will go in the food bag so and then we've got uh, to mix it up because we drink water all day every day uh, out on the trail it's good to have a little bit of flavor to mix it up as well as Gray's coffee will be the hot cocoa and we are taking the Avenue with the Sawyer squeeze be the first time I've used soya squeeze. I usually use the mini, so I'm very impressed with their flow rate, and it's, it's worth the wait, I think. So we got two Avenue bags, two liter, as well as a small one. And that's what it'll go in that Walmart seal bag. Everybody loves the outdoor product, Walmart seal bag. Very cheap, and they're very efficient. Hi everybody, I'm Josh, this is my son Gray. We're here in the Benton Mackay Trail and we're just across the street. If, if you look in between us, you can see the sign and we're gonna go across the street and just beyond the sign is the trailhead, one of the many places you can get on the Benton Mackay. We are parked here and then once you start, come on Gray, once you go across this road, This is the service road, which you can actually drive all the way up the service road and be pretty much right at the bridge. Or you can take the Benton Mackay Trail this way. This is a pretty nice place if you enjoy hiking. This is right off the trail. What do you think, Grace? This is a pretty awesome place. It's right off the trail. Nice little vacation home. You making it back there? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Going up here now. You see white blades. It's a good resting point, huh, Gray? Yeah. <laughs> good thing I made it up the hill. Yep. Right at the blaze. What? Yeah, at the blaze is right down the tree. You're right here, buddy. Oh. <laughs> For the opposite way. We've got a blaze here. If we keep walking up the trail a little bit. Yeah. Your blaze right there for us. Or anybody who's walking the trail.
That's a pretty big tree, ain't it? Look how big around it is. Just think in California, they're like six times that big. Yeah. That is definitely a unique tree. Or who we have sticking out there? A little bit of fur, huh? I'm not telling. You're not telling? Mm -mm. Who's sticking out there? I'm not telling. Uh, no telling, huh? Mm -mm. Okay. Can I tell? Okay. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll I'll give you a guess. Okay. It's one of the videos. It's in one of the videos. A previous video you're in. Yes, and my sister. And your sister. And. It also has this color. Oh, uh, what, what color is that? Gray. Gray. Is that your name? Yes. With an E or a? E. E, okay. Gray is the color. Okay. Find a video Let's... that has that color of a... That Sorry. color of a what? Find color. a video that has the color of a what? Color of that. Oh, and then we'll know who's peeking out. Yes. Okay. People, if y'all know who behind there give gray a comment let him know who's poking out of his backpack there all right it's starting to get a little warm so i'm coming out this long sleeve it was uh 52 when we got out here this morning so definitely had to have the longer sleeves on so good thing is we don't have to make it too hard uh, because we don't even need to get in a pack, which is always nice. You can take it off. See, I've already kind of worked up a sweat under there. Try not to work up too much of a sweat, but sometimes you don't realize it. Good thing about this backpack, like a lot of backpacks, which this is the Tylen 44. It weighs like 2.4 pounds. Uh, looking to get a arc blast, but at this particular moment, uh, we're gonna go with this pack. Uh, we've got it, it's a good pack, durable, uh, lifetime warranty. But the good thing about most packs nowadays, they have this front mess pack, like the Arc Hall. Uh, I, that's, that's the one, my next pack I'll be getting is the Arc Hall, the Black Dyneema. But uh, really love feature, be able to throw your wet gear in there, uh, quick access to stuff. Um, you know, most people say that you know, when they've got a, a, a brain on the backpack, they don't know if they can convert to a tube. Um, I, I, I think I'll be easily converted to a tube because I pretty much use the tube system anyway. I do have my uh, headlamp in here, uh, my rain fly, and my uh, uh, toiletry kit, but I mean, that's it. So it, it, it's not like it's being utilized a whole lot uh, and stuff that you need quick access to, and that's, that's basically what this comes in handy for us. So once I get the art car, I think I'll be pretty happy with it. So, Gray, you've already got your shirt off. Mm -hmm. He's got his long sleeve off as well, so we're ready to roll. Gray, you ready to go? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get that backpack on, buddy. Flip your strap around the other way. There you go, both of them. How about that folks, his whistle matches his shirt and his shoes. Everything's orange, no hunters will get you. You ready to roll? He's up the top waiting on me. He says, if I'm gonna be filming, he's not gonna be going back down with me to get the camera, so. <laughs> anyway, he's got the right idea. 
All right, I think we got most of our elevation done uh, now. It might be another little small area we go down in and then have to come back up. But I think, Gray, I think we got most of our elevation covered. Yeah. You happy about that? Yeah. Yeah, we're breathing a little bit hard. It wasn't that bad. Uh, but I'm old man. And he should have a lot of energy, but... I, I can't, I'm not that crazy. He runs three miles with his mama. Yeah, and my <laughs> heart's different. pounding. Heart's pounding. Different going up these hills, though, ain't it? What was you saying? Because you know how you jog like that? No, don't. I don't jog. <laughs> well, when you jog and you slam your foot down, kind of, it really hurts your heart. Ah, uh, you need to learn to use the middle of your foot, not use your heel, and not slam your foot down. You gotta learn to roll with it. Mama's yeah. gotta teach you how to do that. Then your foot won't hurt when you're running. Yeah. Right. Spiderweb got me. <laughs> I saw it coming too. Could have swung. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I wasn't thinking. So, it's a lot flatter here. Oh, I see a little bit up here. Yeah. You're about to fall. What? Always, you're about to fall. Always make sure you're in, you are in front of a big tree. If you're about to fall, make sure you're in front of a big tree. Yes. Why? So you don't fall all the way down the mountain. So you don't fall down the mountain. Good wisdom from the gray man. The tree helps you not. Now we're going to start gray man's wisdom from the trail. Uh -oh. Daddy's got tips from the falls. And gray's going to have... Wisdom from the trail. You like that? Yeah. Great man's wisdom from the trail. Hey, look. Oh, what we got here coming up? People camping. It's uh. Or maybe just camping. Roped off with the color you're wearing there. Yeah. What we got? We're blocking the trail. Yeah. I don't know what wait, for. Wait. Wait. No, it's not a hammock. I, I knew that from the get-go, but I'm not sure. Not sure why it's there. Uh, that's definitely they, not a they, hammock. They're they telling the bears. They're telling the bears, Gray, don't come through this way. They can't start no bear. They can take the crocodile. <laughs> come here. And they can't start no bear. The they can take their claws and go. <laughs> I know, right? They're crazy. I don't know why it's there. Mm -hmm. Well, um, all the all the dinosaurs have different things called And the Velociraptors can go really fast, and the Pterodactyls can go, uh, can fly, and dragons have something the same like that. They oh, so your theory is they were a mixture between a dragon and a pterodactyl, if there was such a thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's a good theory, Gray. And they, and but so they all have different things cool about, and dragons. It's kind of like a dinosaur, because 
it, it, it's, it's as big as some dinosaurs, and it has claws. It's kind of identical. And you can also see its fire. Yeah? It's so much. Of like somehow getting flint in its mouth and you get cobweb? Yep. Yeah. Cobweb all over I'm glad you're leading right now. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you can lead. No, go ahead. You you, you keep on uh, trucking there, buddy. You're doing good. All right. You're finding all the blazes for us. That's good for now on. Yeah. Well, Put your stick down. Leads. Your what? I'm chopping all the spider webs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Daddy, <laughs> Daddy almost fell into you. <laughs> That's what's better about, about the leaders. Yeah, should be using your pole to go uphill. It would help you a little bit. I know, I just want to block all You just want to get rid of the spider webs. There's not a lot of them, so. What are you talking about? My whole body's covered in spider webs. Yeah. You sure do like orange. Yeah. Orange shirt, orange drink. Well, my real favorite color is yellow. I'm just hiding my favorite color. You're hiding your favorite color? Yeah. Um, amongst what? orange? Huh? Amongst the orange? What? You're hiding the yellow amongst the orange? Mm-hmm. I hear you. But um, orange is kind of like yellow, just different. Yeah. It's, it's a bright color, and you like bright? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I'm a blue and black. Yeah, I love blue. It's probably my favorite. Yeah, it's your favorite color. Yeah, I like those shoes are nice. <laughs> you yeah. only like them because they're blue. No, I like them because I bought them. And you like the orange. It matched your shirt. So, uh, so folks, he's got about, what, maybe two more hikes he can get out of them. Yeah, he's, he's just in them now. We bought them a little big. And, uh, They've been, they've been good shoes, real cheap for kids, and they're good hiking shoes. i got good tread on them. We're going to see how far these sticks can go down. That one didn't go far. Well, you yeah. hit a tree. No wonder that one didn't go down. I'm sorry, Gray. No, I didn't hear you. I was daydreaming. Yeah, you were dreaming. You were daydreaming of sleeping. I was daydreaming of sleeping. <laughs> That's hilarious, son. Oh, and then getting fed. You enjoying this trip so far? Yeah. Hey, wait till we get to the bridge. It's going to be an awesome sight. Good. I'm waiting for an awesome sight. Hey, Daddy. Yeah. When we get to the bridge, can I jump off the bridge? I don't think so. I don't think you'll want to when you see how high it is. And the water ain't that deep. Uh, I, guess I think you'll change your mind a tad bit, son. Well, you never know. It might only, I might only change my mind when I get there. Yeah, maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Daddy? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, that 
That's why they call it daydreams. It's kind of just like your dream. Yeah. When you go to sleep, you don't even really hardly remember them. So the sun just realized we're going down, which means we got to go back up it tomorrow. <laughs> At least he didn't get hurt, I can laugh. <laughs> oh boy. Good thing I was filming. <laughs> and if you, if you, if I don't see it on the blue, it would be a good idea. Yeah, it's gotta go on the bloopers. It might just go in the film, no bloopers at all. It'll just be in the film. Yeah. As live as it can be. <laughs> I think the viewers would like to see that. They give them a good laugh. Yeah. It gave me a good laugh. Yeah, so what you should do is put your daddy, put, um, put the, the thing, an arrow at it, yeah. and make the thing live. Hey, you remember the uh, video trip where, I mean, you remember the video. You remember the trip where we went as a family at Cocker Mill and Mama kind of tripped and Charlotte said, Mama, you need to watch where you're going. And as soon as she said that, she tripped and fell. <laughs> and she wasn't even hiking. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think I knew yeah. Good times. I got it on film, so I will remember it forever. Hey Gray, how do you like that pack versus your Dorita pack, your red Dorita pack? Um, okay, thumbs uh, up. Thumbs up a million times. A million times. So, uh, what, what what do you like about this pack versus your Dorita? Your it, Dorita is more expensive and supposed to be a better pack, and it's designed to carry more weight. It uh, does. Um, it doesn't hurt as much as that. Yeah, it doesn't hurt as much as your Dorita it has a lot more cushioning padding on it. But you say that that one's more comfortable? Yes. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't hurt a lot. It's not as awkward, probably. That one probably cuts into your shoulders a tad bit more, though, don't it? Yeah. But I guess because you're carrying less weight, because that pack itself is, what, three pounds? Folks, I pay. Now, I got that pack. It's a. It's like a $140 pack for children to do it. Um, but I, I, got, I got it on sale. A discount through all oh, yeah I feel like sixty seven dollars so it wasn't a, a huge spin to me but this pack right here folks on his back I paid like twenty two dollars for it twenty two or twenty three and it's one of those packs that folds into itself um it's it's a I got it for like a little day hike pack and it turns out it uh, carries well enough to put you know seven or eight pounds in it or so it's it's uh, an overnighter or you know if you an ultra lighter you can get a good week out of it uh, hey. it's 40 liters this is mine's 44 liters and I know I could I could do a through height with it so um, he could do a through height with his pack no problem it, it seems to be more durable than I thought it would be as well hey, pay attention to the ground. Why, why what are we looking at on the ground a my shadow your shadow no, your no, foot. No. Silver rocks and stuff oh, a bunch of shiny rocks when the sun hits it. I got you. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I, I found one right here. You found one right there. I found one even bigger. Yeah. Twice the size. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll definitely be doing a, a review on that pack. Uh, it's been a good pack. I mean, you can't beat it for 22 bucks. It's got a hip belt. It's got uh, all the essentials for backpacking. Uh, it's just under 16 ounces, so it's right at a pound. Uh, probably depending on the model you got. These things are, you know, made from China or Taiwan or somewhere. No, they're not American made, but uh, probably neither is a Sawyer that squeeze that you're carrying, but I don't know. They might be. Uh, they may be American made. I hadn't even looked into that, but 
And regardless, you know, 22 bucks for the pack. We've got a lot of stuff that's not American made. I, I do try to support American made companies, but uh, I mean, when something's 22 bucks and versus, you know, a Z packs for him is, uh, just for him is $200, uh, $220 actually. Uh, there's no way uh, at this stage with him growing so quickly that I can afford a Cuban fiber for him. You know, if they if they had some kind of system maybe where the harnesses could change out for the kids and, you know, still get a 40 liter and there'll be, uh, uh, that might be something z -Pax can look into if uh, anybody from z -Pax ever watches this or anybody knows them. Maybe that's something uh, that can be brought up to them. You know, get them a, a pack. Because kids love to come out here and hike too, but us adults, not the only ones that need to be lightweight. They need to be even lighter weight because based on the body weight, they need to carry less. So, and I know the parents uh, struggle and carry a lot more of the gear. They usually carry the food and stuff, but uh, we need to toughen them up a little bit too as well, but uh, they need to enjoy it. Otherwise, they're not gonna get back out here and as they're teenagers or adults, they're not gonna wanna do something that they don't enjoy. So, but if z Patch could maybe come out with a pack that has straps that are uh, maybe clipped in or more robust clipped or clove hitched in or uh, just uh, the ability to change out that shoulder harness strap so the kids can grow with the pack. Okay, if you want to reach into my zipper here, make sure nothing falls out. Over here? Yep. All right, it pays to have a little helper, that's for sure. He can uh, reach into my zipper. I should have had them in my pocket, but I forgot. But we got some, uh, we got, you want your food bar? You want, oh, you want your sucker. How about you eat your sucker later? We're gonna give you the food bar. And he can have the sucker later while we're swinging in the hammocks. All right, we're gonna hike and eat. So we'll see you down the trail. So we're coming southbound off the trail and there's a parking lot just beyond that and be sure to uh, pay attention to the sign and not go off on this trail I'm not sure what trail that is I almost went off of it because even though I saw the sign I didn't really read you know my son said hey read the sign dummy and then I looked over and way down there if you can see it there's a blaze and uh, it's not way down there, but so don't go that trail. That probably leads down to the river for some campsites or something. But uh, that's the blaze right there. So follow this on down. I thought it was a continuation of the road per se uh, for trail maintenance or something. I don't know. But yeah, you go down this way. There's the blaze for the big Mackay. That could have been an old route or just a campsite route. I'm gonna get there first. Yay! Yay. <laughs> uh, come on. Huh? Yeah. I'll let you sit in it. <laughs> Say hey to mama. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 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 Wow, you fit on that big chair even with your backpack. What you think about that? I wonder who made this chair. Yeah, I don't know, son. It's a good question. Mm -hmm. I'm sure one of the trail maintenance people made it. Yeah. Yeah. You like it, though? Uh-huh. Don't forget that mystery. What mystery? The mystery about who's in my backpack. Oh, yeah. Who's in the backpack? Yeah? It's a mystery. I can't tell you. YouTubers, if y'all know who's poking out of Gray's backpack there, uh, leave a comment. Let Gray know who that is peeking out of the backpack.
Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be jumping off of it, buddy. If you do, Mama's gonna be sad. But it's only for Mama. Yeah. That's why they call it the shaky bridge. Why they call it the shaky bridge? Yeah, your pole got stuck. <laughs> Smokehouse or peanut butter and honey? Smokehouse can cheddar? We, can, can we uh, maybe sandwich? Sure, we can split them in half. That'll work. I've got both, uh, you know, I've you got, got I've got a smokehouse cheddar in the bag and I got a peanut butter in the bag too. Uh -huh. So, but yeah, we can share them today and share them tomorrow. That'll work. That yeah. works out great, don't it? Yeah, because uh, I don't know what this one tastes like, but I do also like this one. You know you like that one, huh? Yeah. Okay. okay, we got the Sawyer with the Avenue bag, and we put a smart water top on there. If I, if I was really hot, like when I go running with my mom, I'd drink the whole big part thing around it. Probably too. Still had a little bit of grape in there. But I smell grape for you. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Been three miles, hadn't really drank anything. And And Gray was quick to remind me when we ate our snack, uh, it was more than two miles. It actually turned out to be three miles that we had been. Didn't even realize it. So we're going to enjoy some crackers uh, for another snack and some good filtered water. We got some Hawaiian punts to throw in the next batch of water. How about that? Yeah. This is our wonderful view from the trail dining room table. You go some?
let me show you what I got here. There's a lot of hardware that you can use. I've come accustomed to making these little, uh, I don't know what you call them, but they're real easy. You just throw your finger in there and grab it, and it will cinch on itself. I mean, if you got a line lock like this, that's your tightening method right there. And uh, it's all slippery, you know. It's just a slippery. Comes right on out, just like that. And you're not putting any weight on it, but even if you were, it, it will still, uh, you could, I've actually hung hammock rope the same way uh, when I did not have my pre-built loops in them. So uh, you loosen that up. Yeah, you get your height of your tree. You, you can you can actually do it down low, but you make a little bow, or you make a little loop, wrap it around, grab the tag in, pull until it's tight, and then once it's tight, it will then sense down like that, and then whatever method you you've got on this end uh, to sense it completely tight. So. And we're right at the limit of this tarp. This is 11.5 feet. So if I had a 12 foot tarp, I don't think I'd make it. I might barely, if I got a little bit more on the other end than I do on this end. So I might center it a little bit better. We've already got camp set up. Went and had lunch. Got a little snack for lunch. Today in my old Hennessy hammock. How are you liking the new Hennessy hammock for you? Yeah, it's pretty much like a scout one, right? This is lighter weight. Now uh, we've got mule tape, but it's the thick, thicker mule tape uh, for his body weight. It never has damaged a tree, not once. I wouldn't necessarily use it just by myself. I typically go with the uh, down to the beck and hitch method. What we've done on the Hennessy hammock is we put some and steel continuous loops with the beck and hitch. We've got the monsoon tarp just put back right now. It's a pretty awesome little tarp. I really, really enjoy it. I'm gonna flop that over your face real quick, son. Aww. Got the monsoon tarp here. I really, really enjoy it. Just got it half deployed right now. If, when the weather starts getting bad, we'll throw it over the ridge line of the hammock if you don't know much about the monsoon go ahead and check that out i got a review on it i highly enjoyed the tart when i used it with my hennessy but right here i've got a new product that i've used several times on outings it's a it's a wonderful tart very lightweight 14 ounces with stakes and tie outs and it's not an asymmetrical it's more like a a diamond cut and it's kind of what I was looking for because I love the asymmetrical but I love that extra coverage it's got it's 11 by 11 uh, on both ends so from ridge line to ridge line and from ground to ground 11 by 11.5 it's almost 12 on both ends it's a really really good tart very lightweight the only complaint I have is it's gray I'd much prefer the color to be either green or camouflage or, or another color option but the tarps lightweight I paid $39 for it. It's made out of seal nylon. It's from Outdoor Vitals. Y'all did a great job on that Outdoor Vitals. It's a wonderful tarp. I uh, just wish you'd uh, introduce a camouflage version or either a, a, um, olive green or something like that. We just kind of got it half deployed right now, but it gives plenty of coverage from end to end. When you go down in storm mode, it, it, it really just, it, it gives you plenty of coverage. I've gone ahead and thrown this thing in the porch mode. As you can see, very, very spacious, very spacious. And even when you go to ground with it, it's still got a lot of headroom. So um, now uh, I would go down, if I knew it was going to storm, I'd go down just a little bit more than what I have it. But as is, um, you're going to be covered. You're covered all the way, definitely covered. It's not that asymmetrical design it's an actual um basically a diamond cut so i'm standing up underneath it right now and i don't have it as high as it could go but uh it you know if i was in storm mode i would go even lower and most of the time you're not standing up in your tarp anyway but 
this this definitely gives you good coverage and still being able to stand up underneath it. concrete for the post tension. This is nice to look out. You need it to, ain't it, son? Other campsites don't really have much of a view. Yeah, other campsites don't have a view, you're right. Camera no, never does anything justice, but there's our view. Yes, he has his pack on, but not because we're packing with a full load. Is that right, Gray? Yeah, it's just for our bottles. Yeah, how many miles are we hiking? One. One, maybe two? No. It'll be one up, then one back down? We basically decided uh, after camp was set up, uh, we didn't do a whole lot of miles today, so after we've eaten and goofed off a while at camp. I'd just go out and do a little hike with just our packs and you know the essential stuff in case we got caught in rain and whatnot and water filters and stuff and, and I got a little uh, extra OD green if we had to you know hunker down in that it would uh, keep us warm as well so but anyway uh, we're getting close on night so we need to get running so we can get back to camp before nightfall might end up doing some night hiking we'll see Gray, you think we got any Smurfs living under there? It could be bear poop, I don't know. Uh, there's no horses on this trail, so. Uh, it's Step pretty, on it, Daddy. It's pretty old. Step on it, Daddy. Yeah, I'm not sure. If you like poop, uh, maybe you can let me know what kind of poop it is. <laughs> so I'm not sure that I saw any hair in that poop, but uh, it might have been a little bit, I'm not sure. A little winded but uh yeah it was poop and i'm pretty sure there's no horses on this trail maybe the trail maintenance had their horses out or something i've never seen horse poop on the bit Makai or the appalachian trail but eh, i'm sure certain spots people that live out here might take their horses on it uh, i don't know bear poop or horse poop you let me know in the comments so we ready to go back or continue on? What do you mean? Uh, we're gonna continue on. Uh, no. No, okay, so a mile we did, and that's what our agreement was. We did exactly a mile, we're turning around, going back. All right. Let's go. All right, I'm coming. Right, right. Yeah, great. I almost fell in the bear poop. That would've been hilarious. Right, what happened at the bear poop? Um, you almost made me fall in. Yeah? The hole is never in the bear poop. You have to eat it to survive. Poop so 
bad. We had to go up this hill. Oh, and we had to go up a lot of hills. Trucking down now. It's all downhill now, huh, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. This is a little hard. Better use that pole. <laughs> I just told you. You got to listen. I was listening. I Good thing the bear poop went in there, huh? Daddy, do not start that up again. Uh, uh, Is there any bear poop? Is there any bear poop? Ah! <laughs> Watch your stepping. Huh? Watch your stepping. Watch your stuff, and Daddy. All you're doing is looking at the camera. <laughs> I know. There's no pole because I'm using it to film. I know. Why do you even have your pole and you're not even hardly using it? I have used it a lot yeah. to film. Oh. See what I mean? People, we have to walk up this whole entire thing. Not fun. They can't tell how steep it is right now, son. Huh? They can't tell how steep it is right now. And so them. Right, well, I'm videoing, but... By skiing the camera down there. Yeah. <laughs> skiing now. There's no snow, buddy. Okay. Takes practice. <laughs> Somebody didn't want to carry the weight. What's wrong with you? Why didn't you want to carry the weight? I'm about ready to break camp down. Just got our coffee done Don't and hot chocolate done. Down. That's where the fire was last Don't break night. Mine down, we have this awesome view of the river. And the suspended bridge. I didn't turn it off the key. You'll be in touch. I ain't already tell you, but in my hand, it's not warm I see you got that Costco quilt wrapped around you. Is it nice and warm? Yeah. Yeah? I took off my puffy. You took off your puffy? Mm -hmm. you know, what's that around your lip there? Hmm? It's kind of orangish red. <laughs> it's Powerade. Powerade. <laughs> yeah. So, Gray, uh, that, that Costco quilt was pretty warm? Yes. Yeah, did you wake up cold at all? No. Well, well, when I got up. When you got I used up. To use the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's show them what's underneath the Costco quilt for additional warmth. You'll to add uh, maybe five to ten degrees. Like a, a microwave. Yeah. In here. Kind of like a microwave in there. Yay for the Costco quilts. We're I don't know what the temperature got down to. I say at least fifty-two. At least 52. Yeah, I didn't check. I'm not going to have real hands anymore. Uh, you don't have those? Yeah, I don't, I don't have real hands on
about a quarter of a mile, you have no energy to hike. Is that, is that what I'm seeing? Do you think so? And then all of that energy will come right back. But I'm the never ending energy person. Yeah. It doesn't matter how much sugar I have. I just, I'm, 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 I'm still even, be even uh, it will get me even, get me even crazy. Got to remember to turn the battery around so once in your pack it won't light up.